we, we got to the restaurant. I had to take out a picture for outside the restaurant. And we had to do a TikTok as soon as we got in the restaurant. Oh, gosh. Uh, no. Never in anyone's wildest dreams did they expect to be on a date with an influencer and she's like busy doing her TikTok, Instagram view story stuff while on a date. But like it was, it's only crazy until it happens. And today's ghosted story is literally that. It was it's very cringy, but we're just going to listen to it because like there's a lot to learn from seeing things like this with real people and some character traits that you can just pick up and be like, yo, what's up with you? Um, this video is a ghosted reaction video. Hit that like button to let the algorithm know that this video is awesome and everyone needs to watch it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please do want a mission to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Join us. All right, without further ado, just listen on and I will put the video somewhere here so you can watch along as well. Are you jealous? Like, it sounds like you are a little bit uh, insecure, but don't worry. Like, I get it. This happens a lot. Tons of guys cannot handle, like, my presence on social media. Okay. Let's see what it's about. Everybody, let's welcome Jessica! Jessica! Yeah! It's ghosted, Jessica, so it's not great that you're here, but we're still happy to meet you. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, Jessica, tell us about Doug. What happened? Uh, oh my gosh, Doug. So if you're not familiar with it, the girl calls, you know, the person who's been ghosted calls into the radio station and then they call their partner uh, or the, the ghostie, the person that, has been, that ghosted them and they try to figure out what happened and why they ghosted. So Jessica was ghosted by Doug and she's telling the story. Okay, so he won't get back to me and like, I just don't know why. And this has never happened to me before and I just... You guys are the experts, so I figured maybe you could help me. Okay. All right, well, let's walk it back here. Tell us a little bit about you and Doug and how you guys got started and where it was at when he stopped messaging you back. Uh-huh. Makes sense. Okay, to so we met on Hinge, like, it was, like, maybe, like, three weeks ago. So Hinge is a decent app. Yeah. Oh, and we were talking a lot through text, um, and we decided to meet up. So last weekend, we went to dinner at King Street West. And Sorry, I know you keep saying, but I really know that it's a good idea to take things offline real quick. Like, so if you've been talking for a couple of weeks on chat, you might not be able to really evaluate the person fully without meeting them. So if you can meet in person, I highly, I highly recommend that you do that. Meet offline. And we had a really great time. It was super fun. Okay. Okay. And that's it? Well... And I don't know if, like, maybe something happened, like, to his phone, or I thought he, like, followed me, and then he unfollowed me. I don't know. But he won't text me back, and I'm just That's childish. I hope he didn't do that. Like, what's going on? Like, well, he's okay? Or... Are you talking about, like, Instagram? Mean? He followed you, followed, like... I mean, it's childish to follow and unfollow, but sometimes you follow and you're like, yeah, I'm not about this person's content, so you should unfollow. So, yeah, maybe not. Usually when you, you're like, yeah, I went out to dinner and a guy followed me, I'd be like, oh, that's oh. scary. Yeah. So you're talking about social media? Yeah, well, okay. yeah. I mean, like, maybe he was intimidated by me because, like, I don't know, I was kind of getting some scared. Like, yeah, I mean, like, I'm, you know, whatever. I have, like, I'm popular on Instagram, but, you know. At this point, I wasn't sure what else would be like, Hmm, I've done a video on a guy being intimidated by a girl before and that was like with profession, with like ambition and all that stuff. So I wasn't sure if it was that kind of vibe or whether it was like, oh, but she said I'm popular and I'm like, sure, popular. No, I just, I mean, maybe he was intimidated or scared off by that, but like I just want him to know like that I don't care about that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just, I mean, Fair. I don't know. A follow on follow is, is not a good move. Mm -hmm. So something but definitely happened. Have, have you ever liked I'm unliked sure. something? Too? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, just yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. The mo or, or when you accidentally like something when you're creeping. And it's from like you know, 2016. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, trick yeah. is you just go through and like a whole bunch of photos and then you message no, say, sorry, my niece had my phone. No, okay, you've yeah. done that before. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do, Jessica. It doesn't sound like anything bad happened that was like, you know, outward. So what we'll do is is we'll call him next. You listening on the phone, and we'll find out from him uh, his side of the story. Yeah. Okay, great. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. No problem. So that's exactly how it works. You tell your story, you tell what you think happened, and then they call the person and hear that side of the story. And usually, people only tell their stories in a way that makes them look good. So they're like, "Yo, are you ready for the truth?" And they're like, "Yeah." So this is us or the radio station calling dog. 
So if you haven't met Jessica, Jessica's great. Uh, she went on a few dates with this guy named Doug, and now we won't get back to her, and she doesn't know, understand why. Now, Jessica, you did sort of mention that you were at a restaurant with him last week on King West, and you were getting some stares. Can you explain why that was? This is key. Well, I'm popular on Instagram, and so I'm sure people recognize me, and I was, like, taking some pictures and stuff, and, I mean, also, I look really good, so well, why wouldn't people stare? Okay, and and there was some sort of following, unfollowing incident, too, that you mentioned? I'm not sure. There was a Doug that followed me and unfollowed me, but I don't even know if it was him. I didn't even, like, look at his profile. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> you know, that part of the story seems funny because I don't even have that many followers as well, relatively. I have uh, almost 900 followers. I don't really notice the names of people that follow and unfollow me because I don't get notifications, first of all, for a lot of things. So I don't know that if you ha if you are popular, if you are have if you are as popular as you think you are, 10,000 followers, 1 million followers, you're not going to know who is following and unfollowing you except you're really studying it. But to be fair as well, this is someone she just went on a date with, so maybe the name's stuck. Maybe she she notices the name. I I don't know. Sounds a bit sketchy is what I'm saying. Okay, right. so what we're going to do is call him with you listening on the phone like we always do. And you know this, and I ask everybody this. Are you sure you want to make this call? Because it can sure? be yeah. harsh. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Okay. Well, let's make the call to Doug, please. Hello? Okay. Hi, is this Doug? Yeah. Uh, it's Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax from 99.9 Virgin Radio. Never Google. want to get this close. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, except okay. right. it's me yeah. winning uh, something. Yeah. Pleasure to hear from you, I guess. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe wait on that. <laughs> Dog, we're, we're not actually that scary. I just, uh, you know, we wanted to talk to you about an incident last week. We understand. Um, don't ask us how. We understand that you uh, went out last week with somebody and ever since you haven't responded to their texts mm -hmm. and we would qu classify that as a ghosting so we're just investigating yeah yeah i uh i Brace for I it. know who we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> i figured you might because unless you went to two dinners on yeah. wednesday last week so I, I did not know it's just the one just the one what's up so what's up with you and jessica man she's like one of these these Instagram, social media people, yeah. and um, I am just not that into that sort of, uh, I don't want to call it narcissism, but that sort of... Okay. At first you're like, a little harsh, narcissism, people are, influencing is a real job, and there's a way to to be an influencer that doesn't make you seem like a narcissist. It's a lot of taking photos of yourself and doing things about yourself, so I get the narcissistic vibe, but that's not really fully what narcissism is but the point is that like it's a real job i know people are doing it i would like to do it in some capacity one day but i'd like to stay true to myself and not create a facade of who i think i am versus who i actually am which is sometimes the big problem people create this whole persona but let me not get into it yeah you know, okay. uh, ego i guess um and because i wasn't one of her uh, wild admiring fans or a mirror for her she paid zero attention to me yeah. mm. Okay. Okay. Let's hear that. Well, uh, can you elaborate on yeah. that? Like, what do you mean? Zero attention. Let's hear. Um, yeah, I guess I can. Uh, she is uh, very, very into herself, and like a, you know, a, a healthy ego is one thing, but um, when it's all about your presence on uh, Instagram or TikTok, uh, like everything was an Instagram moment. You know what I mean? Like everything had to be a, a photo or a video that I, I should have figured it out earlier on because she pressed me on, on taking her to you guys know Aretta? Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah it's great but just you know that i know now is the the top instagrammable spot in toronto which i <sighs> come on who does that okay so a few things i didn't want to miss so far she, she said she paid him no attention during the date she was taking photos and videos of everything on tiktok i get it's her job but like guys it's a day there has to be like some demarcation between okay i'm working and i'm trying to get to know someone so i'm already like Gah. it's a bit cringy that you did that and you selected the restaurant for the date based on popularity on instagram i mean maybe on the second or maybe on the fifth date when you've gotten to know each other a bit more you say guy this is our date i want to use it as also content creation and everything and then you guys both know what you're walking to but the first date it's much it's much let's respect ourselves I thought it was just a nice dinner spot, but that was not the intention, yeah. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> as soon as she got in the car when I said picked her up, uh, she was on her phone. She did not get off her phone the whole time. Wow. You know, yeah. we we got to the restaurant. I had to take a picture of her outside the restaurant, and we had to do a TikTok as soon as we got in the restaurant. Oh gosh! No. Taking photos. Is she of me holding the faces a glass, of the me Taking photos of her holding a fork over food, but but I only photos of me were like of my hand. Yeah. So that you know, they got nice hands. Okay, the guy with the, <laughs> <laughs> the girls like to post these mystery photos of their boyfriends holding a glass or something. My view versus his view, but they don't show his head. It's like this mis. Ugh. Let's just right now. <laughs> yeah. You moisturize those yeah. things or what? I, I didn't. I wouldn't. I didn't really need trying to be mysterious. Me, but like, it, you're not even. Yeah. Who, no, no, no. who are we? What are we hiding? You know, it, it just felt. I don't know. It was weird, man. You know. Way, it sounds weird just and, listening to it. Um. Like I said, she just she wasn't present, you know. She wasn't there for the page. She yeah. wasn't there for the photo. Is that something that they're into, you know? So that's like a really key statement. He said she wasn't there for the dates. It was just there for the photos. It feels almost like she used him. You know, she used him to get to this fancy restaurant to go on a date. They've been taking photos since the moment she got into his car. They go to the restaurant. He had to take a photo of her. We go to the restaurant. She has to take a photo, a video of the place. She was taking photos of fork on the food. Uh, hold him holding a glass. It feels like a lot for a first date, to be honest. Social media, cool, cool, cool. But like you said, not for you and not really the time. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I think it's fair that we get the other side of this, is it not? Sure. So the whole while, the person is talking, not knowing that the other person is on the line. So she has actually done a really good job of being quiet. Most people cannot handle it. So let's hear what she has to say to it. This is the part where it gets even cringier. So, <sighs> Is it not? Yeah, I'd like to. Okay, so you know what, Doug? We did you a little bit dirty. Jessica has been on the phone listening to this the entire time. Oh, good. Hi, Doug. This is all <laughs> good. Hi. Yeah. Oh my God, like, are you jealous? Like, it sounds like you are. <sighs> I know, my skin almost had to cry. Like, oh my God, are you jealous? That's her reaction. Like, what? Hearing all of this. But as I said, it only gets worse. So listen on. A little bit uh, insecure, but don't worry. Like I get it. This insecure. happens a lot. What? You guys cannot what? handle like my presence on social media. But I just want you to know, Doug. I really want to make it work with you, and I I need a normal guy like you in my life. I need a normal guy like you in my life. <laughs> Honest. What's yes. it? What do you mean you need him? Normal guy. Normal guy. I, Another, yeah, uh, normal guy. Yeah, like a normal, normal guy. guy. Yeah, like all the guys are dated. Are it, it's borderline on that using thing again. Like, I just want, I need a normal guy. Is it for appearances again? What do you mean? <sighs> okay. Brad, and Doug, is, you're so sweet and nice. Okay. Um, well, thanks. Um, I, I'll tell you, it's not just no. the guys I think they can't handle. It's the, the lady at the table next to put the, her napkin over her head while you're shining that light on your food. So oh, wow. Like, uh, okay, we're getting I, to, okay. Uh, appreciate your. I was working. Okay. Nice this is my job. Um, you know, like take a lunch break. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I get it, but like on a first date, like yeah, you, yeah. on a first date, and I, I, you don't know anything about me. You didn't ask me anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you know, oh my God, very you're little so about cute. Me. You were you were oh. in your phone the whole time. She said you're so cute, and I almost just like. Keep quiet, Jerry. What do you like? Is listen to what he's saying. It was the oh my god, you're so cute. She keeps saying it. It almost sounds condescending. Like, are you listening to me at all, or are you just trying to like? <sighs> it's stressful. I don't know why I, I do hate this. To say, I don't think you're far off from the guys you usually date. Cause like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah, he's okay. throwing okay. no punches, yeah. but okay. It, it, it just you, wasn't great. You're right. not right, right for each other. Okay. Okay. Is that is that fair? You guys are not right for each other. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. No, like we can. Doug. Oh my Jessica. God. You're so cute. This is like enough with that, though. I mean, let's. Where should we go next? Do you want to go to the distillery district? Oh, no. Maybe Gear Down. Well, um, okay, Jessica. I um, I, I don't really know how else to say this, so I'm gonna go now. Um, thank you, radio host, for having me on. You're very welcome. You, guys. you think it's over, um, but just wait guys. for this and part. Jessica, I hope you find what you're looking for. Take care, okay? It's coming. What? His, yeah, Hello, his, his, li his line's dead. His line's yeah. dead. Sorry. What? Uh, Jessica, uh, I hate to tell you this. I don't think that that's going yeah. anywhere. Yeah. I think he just unfollowed oh you again. 
this doesn't make any sense. What's happening? What is... Oh, my God. You're not meant but to be. He, yeah. No, I should have hung up first. What? No, no, no. Right. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> You should have definitely hung up first. <laughs> you get him back on the phone so no, she can hang up. Okay, all right. Jessica, you do your thing and, and take good care, okay? And congrats on all your success. Yes, yeah, absolutely. that's awesome. <laughs> oh. Thank you, guys. All right. I have a wonderful day. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that was the part that I was like... <laughs> she really was like, oh, I should have hung up first. Like, it feels like a child... Like it's teenager from the Mean Girls kind of show. Oh my god, I'm so popular. He should be like, I should be like, jump. And he should be like, how high? And but she should be just, oh my god, LOL. I'm like, just weirdness. Ugh. Ugh. Let me get myself together. This person is very immature, Jessica. Very immature, not ready for a serious relationship. Not ready to get to know someone truly. Not ready to take a step back and get to know the other person and ask questions too. This is a relationship. This is not a Jessica worship. It's not a Jessica centric relationship. And a lot of people actually in this kind of relationship dynamic where it's like, she calls all the shots. She's like, it's everything about her. It's about what she wants. This is how people go broke trying to impress her. Because imagine they start going out. She sounds like a person that's going to want a Chanel bag and not going to hear that. She just got her a, I don't know, Louboutin for Valentine's, but now she wants another expensive thing for Instagram so she can show Like It sounds exactly like that kind of personality. So homeboy dog, just dodge the bullet. Dog, dodge the bullet. That sounds good. It's a lot. She is very full of herself. She's very about herself. She's not ready for something serious. Dog, dodge the bullet. She is also not hearing how immature she is. Her in words i really should eat oh my god i should have hung up first like really is that what you had here no room for apologizing i'm sorry i'm not sure why i just i am I'm, I'm not sure why i decided to bring my work to the date i should have gotten to know you better um if you want to try this again i will put my phone down and i really get to know you i was just very excited that we got into this fancy restaurant i've been wanting to go for a while and she's like oh my god you're so cute you're so cute that's just like it's in your bag when I talk Jerry like shut up your mouth and just like like focus on what he's saying and and listen so the summary of this video is I feel like people that are watching me are not this kind of people like you guys are very you have your you have great heads on your head you're thinking you want better you want good things for your life so kudos to you but if you come across people like this in your life i want you to be honest with them give them the gift of honest feedback the problem though is i don't know if this person is in the she's hearing the feedback and i don't know if she's ready to hear it so how can people like this improve like what do you think how, what can they do to really become self-aware is it therapy is it just time is it to learn the hard way because things like this happen but kudos to dog for not making excuses for her this is a, a really it's a very red flag that I was like, yeah, time to go. I don't condone ghosting, but this is one scenario where I'm like, yeah, just leave her. But he got this ticket and I said, um, thanks for tonight's date. It was not what I expected at all. Um, I'm, this is not what I'm looking for in a relationship. Have a good life or something like that. Maybe not have a good life, but thank you for your time. Bye. Something along those lines to close things. I don't think you should ghost people. It's a bit rude. But I also understand that she was rude the whole the whole date. She did not pay him any attention and it was just like, this is a lot. So that was today's Ghosted episode. And let me know your reactions as you listened. I want to know if you were cringing along with me, if you thought I was too harsh in my criticism. Um, what would you do if you were a dog? And what would you do if you could advise Jessica, um, who's the girl in this scenario? If you have your own Ghosted episodes, Ghosted stories that you want to share with me, I'm all ears. Leave it down below in the comment and I will respond to it. Um, in an episode like this as well. Again, my name is Fakwan Kwacha and this is my channel where I talk about all things life, love and career. Subscribe for more videos like this and stick around to watch my other ghosted episode which I did which is a different scenario. This time around the guy was too cheap and he thought she was um, she, he thought she was this kind of Jessica girl actually but she wasn't. Listen to it. And then another video I did called um, his he's intimidated by me or something like that where this guy literally is yeah is not it sometimes it helps to hear people's stories to really be like 
these are real experiences these are real people that are sharing their stories so you can recognize red flags faster thank you for sticking with me be back for more videos don't just watch this one video and go watch another one thank you and see you next time don't forget to subscribe